Well, thank yeah. everybody for having me this morning. I'll share screen in just a second. Um, I just uh, wanted to thank those who had shared from their hearts coming up, especially Doug, uh, the the work that Mercy is, Inc. is doing, especially in Rohingya camp. It just leaves with both a heavy heart and also compels me uh, of the blessing that we have to come together here for a greater cause and uh, but I think I was absolutely, I talked to Mike last week or the week before, and I was absolutely looking forward to the theology of work as you remind us of the why. In fact, the picture in the background, if you can see my background here, is the uh, Hudspeth Farm. So it's been in the family for about uh, 108 or 112 years. And so once a year, we come together and uh, repair fence, and I just happened to be on an upper fence line here doing uh, my role, which was pounding posts and pounding nails. I can't say I'm the best at it, so there may be a few nails bent to the side, but uh, we had about 90 people that came together, and um, I'm reminded just, you know, how much of a blessing it was that weekend to have and see the roles of workers and leaders and the chefs that cooked for all of us and uh, the logistics to bring all the posts and everything and just how uh, we had uh, the blessings from that fellowship and be able to kind of see the fruit of that work uh, done afterwards and know that um, in such a beautiful place, this farm still stands strong after 108 years and and our Christ reminds us that in times like uh, now in this world that we may face adversity or long suffering, but um, he's a greater God than that. And so, and and Kevin, I just, I always love how you remind us of our mind and also the resources as well. So today I just, I wanted to take just a few minutes and just update everybody in terms of, of the resources that are available to you uh, through Mercy today. And so I'm gonna switch over to uh, PowerPoint here and. And, uh, and provide just that brief update and hopefully just navigate you through a couple of tools that hopefully most everybody is able to see. Uh, James, is everybody able to see this first? Perfect, okay. So during, during the last six months, um, we had kicked off a pilot, which I would say is beyond a pilot at this point. And uh, that was providing a learning and support platform that would help each one of you become either sharper leaders um, as believers and also just owners in your own business. And so today I'd like to take a few of those moments to update you on how God is using mercy today to, uh, to be able to help you in your business. And I think as Kevin had talked about the mind, there's also just different resources here that would help uh, through mercy uh, today give you a different perspective on your business. And obviously these are all of it made available to you through the uh, membership or program. So just as a, a reminder, as we started this and you know these verses were, um, were given to us as a reminder also today, but the blessing we have is being a part of a faith forward cause while providing value to, to you as business owners and also key leader for God's glory. Um, all too many years, myself as a leader, I kept these separate in my mind, which in fact, uh, the way then I led was uh, work and then God and, and somehow not making a uh, force of reckoning that uh, God wants to be all parts of my life, including at work. And so Paul reminds us that whatever we do, do all for the glory of God here in First Corinthians. And so so through this, uh, we will provide uh, sound advice and perspective, whether through the training curriculum and or the one-to-one -one, uh, coaching. And so um, I'll provide just kind of a reminder of those resources that are there for you uh, to take advantage if you haven't already taken advantage up to this point. So we've split this out into three specific areas. One is uh, more targeted one-to-one -one coaching through the strategic planning. And we've uh, been blessed to have a number of folks go through that program. And the other one is the business curriculum, which I'll share a little bit more in depth today through the business assessment and also culture management uh, curriculum. And so um, while we tackle these um, topics here on the one-to-one -one coaching, we'll tackle topics like the health of your business, 
um, by evaluating your business model, make sure that it's a clear business model, um, understand your key opportunities and also challenges, and then identify what's winning look like in the marketplace and how to achieve it. And so we put together a um, a strategic one pager for you with initiatives that help provide you the type of focus and also clarity that absolutely gives value, uh, clear value and transferable value in your business. And so um, while I provide this uh, coaching, um, there will be a, a start and a finish. This obviously doesn't include the implementation process. Um, I consider this walking alongside with you and, and hopefully be able to pull out um, either what's already there or to be able to explore what those options are for you. Now, on the business assessment and the culture management courses, what excites me here is this is um, being made available to all and doesn't necessarily rely heavily on me with the one-to-one -one marketing, uh, uh, one-to-one -one coaching rather. Um, and this is made available on Marketplace websites um, in your library section. So all of you should have already received emails from James Autry. And so I'm going to highlight what each one of these will do for you and, and how to access them. So where to find it, uh, what the idea of each one of these are, and then also how you get started. So if you receive the email, um, you will have your landing page as you access that link that says your library. And so um, I grayed out the one to the right, which is going to be more these recorded platforms. And so off to the left is really um, as easy as click and go. And so you're going to click through there and, and I'll just uh, quickly go through that. But uh, again, as you access this, um, it'll give you full access to both the business assessment and also the culture management curriculums. And so I'll take a couple of minutes uh, at the end to just navigate you through the actual website in case you haven't had time to take and gone through that. Uh, but for now, let me take you through um, the, uh, the insights of that assessment. And so off to the left here, we have the business assessment and off to the right, we have culture management. And so on the business assessment, it is a very high level um, diagnostic tool that then goes deeper and deeper in all critical areas of your business, such as HR, marketing, technology, operations, and finance, just to name a few. And so that's broken out to 12 lessons. Um, it, uh, it can also be taken as one. So there's a PDF format for you. And, and so with this, uh, we wanna ensure that you're able to um, identify some of those areas where you can grow uh, further value in your business and be able to document that. Now, the outcome will be to provide you as, um, as a way of developing a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And so if you've developed one before, this business assessment is in fact going to lean you pretty precisely in that area. And if you haven't done one before, um, feel free to contact uh, Mike at mercytoday.global and we'll certainly um, see how we can navigate you through that. On the right hand side is culture management. And so um, sometimes the question is asked, um, so why, why culture? Why does culture matter? And so it's, it is important in the business um, to deliver on success. And so every organization has a culture, whether or not we are intentional to develop that, but does the culture absolutely contribute to uh, achieving the business goals or does it hinder? And so uh, a company's culture is, is really a true unique identifier. And so uh, consider it kind of a fingerprint, if you will. And so it may be similar to other cultures. Um, however, it does have a unique distinct um, identifier in the business, both on how you attract people and also how you um, really drive performance with like-minded um, uh, achievements. So in this curriculum, you'll learn how to set key expectations that are documented. Uh, think of those as key initiatives. They could be projects. Uh, they could be a strategy that will be documented in a clear way that will be able to be transferred into your organization. 
Second is we explore how to identify and classify potential gaps so that you and your team can uh, have a way to collaborate in an aligned way in solving problems. Too often, um, I've been a part of different um, uh, meeting type settings and it feels as if we're talking about five different things and five different problems. And so if we just take a moment and just understand, well, what is the problem we're trying to solve and what's the problem we're not trying to solve, then from there we can be a little bit more precise in terms of how we go about that. Um, third, we'll tackle experiences. And so you'll learn through this that experiences help shape beliefs. And so um, we'll include, or we do include, what are the different types of experiences that you as a leader can create to be more intentional? And when you're not intentional, what are sometimes the experiences that are created that create a wrong belief system within, uh, within your area of influence? And so uh, we use a, diff a few different case studies to um, take um, that and apply it to the real world. And so um, you'd be able to take that even within your organization as well. So we currently in this, um, in your library, you have, you'll have uh, four training podcasts. And so we'll continue to build on those, but that's where we started. And again, the impact here is really to help elevate the effectiveness um, for you and your team to achieve your desired results. Um, the outcome here will be um, really individual application. So you're able to take the course with a quiz. We'll upload those quizzes. And then for your organization, be able to determine how does this best fit for me? And so that's the, um, so that's both of the programs there. What I wanted to do is just quickly navigate you through then to the actual, hold on here, to the actual uh, website, just to remind everybody just how easy it is to navigate through. So, so once you press the link, it's going to take you to uh, a landing page and I'll take you back here. This will be your landing page. And so this will be as easy as clicking on view product. You can uh, start course. You can see I resume course here and, and it has a very easy layout in terms of the courses that you have available here. And so this happens to be the business assessment uh, that you would take and and so you'll be able to uh, print off your work and be able to uh, from there uh, put together a SWOT um, if you haven't developed one already and then also on the culture management side we will have uh, culture management courses with the quizzes uploaded as well and so it's it's easy as uh, a one two three click and again James has been uh, gracious enough to um, make it even easier to remind us of that with, with the link. And so, um, so that's the update today. I'm, I'm blessed to have been able to uh, walk alongside with some of you in the room there. I just, I appreciate once again, your, your confidence in being able to go through that. And once again, thank you all for sharing from your heart today. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. The amazing stuff you're putting together. We're super excited about the partnership and looking forward to folks getting through that. Uh, Lynn, if you're available, I, I know you just went through the business assessment. And so maybe you could give us some fresh feedback if you're available to do that. As I was taking a look at the assessment, I was just kind of clicking through, um, asked a little bit about like the history of my business, which I started May of 2020, and then started just kind of going through and looking for mission statement, vision statement, a little bit about who the, my competitors are, um, as well as um, some of the uh, the key contacts and so forth as I went through. Um, so um, in my business, I'm a Christian life coach and I'm about to be uh, shifting gears to be a, uh, a Christian business coach. And I'm also a trainer and I'm building online courses to help uh, businesses grow. And so as I went through that, I found out that there's a bunch of gaps that I have, to be perfectly honest. As I was going through it, I was finding that I'm, I'm I in my head, I kind of carry around my mission statement and I, I can talk about a vision, but I haven't actually articulated that or written it out yet. And um, I couldn't necessarily name some of my competitors and then some of the next steps I have for um, for setting goals in advance. And so even as I was going to do that, I was finding that um, 
I don't really have a map. I don't have a, I don't have a map laid out for me. And then Mike, while you were just sharing right now, I was hearing that you have a lot of the components that are built in there. And then I heard you say that it, um, kind of taking a look at those next steps and being able to hand them out um, and just to, to pull together that, you know, the what's happening in the culture of your business and the next steps and a lot of the nuts and bolts to help make that map. And kind of what I heard you say is you've helped a lot of other people create those maps for their businesses and that that's, they're kind of thriving. And so I'm kind of at a, a little bit of a, uh, a lull in between some of the big, um, I'm kind of, I've been zooming out a little bit on my business and taking a look at what are the next steps? What are my goals that are coming up? And so as you were describing the process of what you take people through, it sounds like it's really awesome. So um, I just, I, I feel like um, I have from one week to the next, maybe one month to the next, but I don't have a game plan. That's something that sounds like it would be super valuable. So I went through the assessment. It looks like something that would really uh, serve, serve well for my business. <laughs> Fantastic. What, what do you think, blessing. Mike? Yeah, what, what a blessing. I think uh, one, one thing through uh, Cathedral Consulting, I think just to remind everybody is, is quite often when we go through business assessments, what Lynn just shared tends to be um, a lot of business owners reality that it's quite daunting some of the gaps. And I know Bud has spoke to some of those on the original uh, training sessions. And so fortunate, you know, part of that yes. uh, activation is just taking, a, taking the time to go through your own business and, and looking to see what those gaps are. Small businesses can be the toughest because you're under-resourced and you do have to choose how to prioritize. And so, um, so that is probably an area that I find. And so with that, I encourage, you know, people to start with, make sure you know why you exist. Uh, two is then uh, really understand your business model. There's too high of a percentage that um, people go into something without understanding what their business model is. And then from there, being able to develop a simple SWOT, uh, which you can now do through that business estimate is a huge mm -hmm. milestone for a lot of businesses. And so you're, you're off to a great start. Mm -hmm. So when you were talking about you don't actually help the business owner um, implement the plan, do you actually help write out the business plan? That was one of the components of the assessment. Do you help create that business plan? I do, yes. So, and we're pretty limited on that, just uh, based on my uh, resource times. And so, I uh, that is where I've taken, uh, I think, five or six now through it at this point. And um, both, you know, we've got two mm -hmm. or three examples in the room there with both Kevin and Bethany is going through that now at this point. And um, both are, you know, all are pretty unique because some come from. A different corporate environment others are startups and then others um, maybe at a small business standpoint but just haven't taken the time to go through that and so this helps just document it and be able to provide some clarity through that and then once that's documented then they're able to put it into a 90-day activation plan to get uh, just a good start excellent that sounds great mike Excellent. So you will have, as going through the assessment, you will have the things to put together in the business plan. So that's the critical element. Uh, many people may not recognize this, some do, and that is you've never experienced yourself. Uh, you've seen maybe a reflection, which is the opposite in a mirror in your bathroom, <laughs> or you may be looking at a video <laughs> camera and actually see what you look like, but you've never experienced yourself. And so it's incredibly important that you have these tools and resources to go into those areas and look behind your head, look you know, on this side and get those other eyes on there and have folks. And that's why it's extremely important that we complete, we work with and we, we discover and, and really engage with other people in what our assignments are because that's gonna make us better. And so thanks, Mike, thanks, Lynn. Mm -hmm. Super excited about this aspect so good. of what we're bringing to the table.